Welcome to another episode of Stay In Tune TV. I hope y'all are doing well and thank you for tuning in. So I got a couple of stories that I want to bring to you guys today. The first one is regarding a woman who took the social media in hopes to get help from anyone who would listen, making claims that she's being stalked, harassed, and given death threats. And then after that, we're going to talk about this 11-year-old out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who decided to steal a school bus and take the police on a high-speed chase. Let's get right into the video. Oh God, that's right now. I've been crying all day, um, you know, but right now, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for supporting me. Um, I understand that, like, Baltimore is going through a lot, and they're dealing with a lot of cases, so mine is not on their radar but it's like if they can prevent one of the cases that they're dealing with, would they? And it doesn't feel like they would. Um, so if you guys could tag everybody that you know. Um, I really don't know what the outcome will be. I just know that I don't want to be harassed and stalked anymore. Um, I don't know what it's going to take for this to stop or if he's going to stop on his own. Uh, but I'm doing everything that I can. I don't think you understand, Z. If I wanted you dead, you would have been. You would have been a month ago. It's been over a month now, and you still ain't dead. You know. Thank you, Joe. You can feel whatever you feel want to feel about me, because how you feel about me and what you think about me is none of my business. However, what you cannot say is that I'm a broke ass nigga. I'm not on my. What do you have to say? All you, all you have to say is, is what? Is that I'm abusive? Huh? Huh? Is that? That's it. That's it. So listen, y'all, judging by her video, I'm just going to assume that she did file a police report with the local police in her area and is not getting any support. So maybe that's why she took the story to social media to get help. At the same time, I am aware that people are quick to take to social media nowadays, so that is what it is. Um, on the other hand, I myself have dealt with domestic violence in the past, so please don't twist my words. I just want to say that no one deserves to be in an abusive situation, no woman, no child, no man. However, we do have to be accountable and be mindful of who we let into our lives, our homes, and around our children. Because giving the wrong person a chance could jeopardize your whole livelihood. When you tap into your discernment while moving accordingly, it enables you to see those things that someone would otherwise try to hide. So I just want to say the way he minimized her being able to say he was abusive. But on the other hand, he got extra heated while mentioning that she can't call him broke spoke volumes. Child, I just want to say that the ego is fragile and mental illness is real. I hope that this young lady gets the help that she needs. And if Buddy out here moving like that, he needs to be held accountable swiftly. So that is all we have for that. On to the next story. So some of you may have already heard about this next story regarding the 11 year old boy who decided to take a school bus and led the police on a 13 mile chase before crashing in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And in case you haven't heard it, cool, cause we about to get into it right now. There's a little boy in there and he was laughing. He's like giggling on the way across Florida. So he gets right past me. I see it. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a boy, little boy. So I'm not going to read the full article, but I am going to leave a link in the description box below. So according to police officers, the unnamed boy somehow got the keys to the bus, which is reportedly privately owned, and decided to take it on a Sunday morning joyride. It's likely fitted with a push button ignition. A spokesperson for the Baton Rouge Police Department told News Channel WAFB 9. It sounds like the bus was empty and not in service at the time, though details about the theft, the chase, and the accident are still emerging. 
The boy's erratic driving quickly caught the attention of police officers, but he refused to stop. News channel ABC 11 learned he hit a gas line and tried to ram into another vehicle as he led police on an unpredictable 13-mile chase across several parts of the city. It ended when he drove onto a private property and struck a tree. I'm just curious to know if this child had a destination in mind. I mean, he was floating this school bus, y'all. He drove for 13 miles before getting stopped by the police and before actually crashing. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt because this could have ended horribly, not just for him, but for others. Well, that is all we have for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos. And leave a comment below if you have something that you would like to add. More importantly, stay blessed, stay in tune, stay safe, and stay out the way. Take care.